Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you two things. Firstly, just going to quickly show you the two types of pins I make, and then I'm going to run through quickly how I make a pin for Pinterest. Um, this is just my, the way I do things, obviously. There's many different ways. Uh, you don't have to do it this way to be successful. In fact, many people um, can make much better pins than me, but I guess I want to show you that you don't have to be a brilliant graphic designer using great software to be able to get results. So for every post, basically, I make two pins. I make one for the post. This is on my website um, in my Charleston post. So you can see I've got a things to do in Charleston. Um, and I've got a very similar one in Pinterest. And this is like the pin that I have in Pinterest to match to the post. So in this case, um, they look very similar. Um, they are different photos though. So I picked a different one because different photos look good in Pinterest format and different ones look better when you have them in landscape. Now the reason I do this on my blog is because one, if I put that vertical pin in my blog, it just doesn't look good. It doesn't work. Um, and secondly, you know, I think it looks nice to have like a professional looking photo like this. It's my featured image. It, it goes throughout the site. Um, and it's also pinnable so people can pin directly from my post into Pinterest. So if they want to use this photo, they can, um, you know, because this post isn't, it's not like it's linked to the pin in here. So it's like two different ways I get people to pin. One is from in Pinterest and one is from the blog post. Um, ideally, I mean, it'd be better to have the actual pin in here so when people pin it, it looks great and more people are likely to repin it. Um, but it just doesn't suit my blog, so I can't, I can't do that. Um, so yeah, I make, I make two images for pretty much all my posts. I put one in here and I want to upload one directly to Pinterest and I just edit it to add the URL so it links back. Now make sure you do that step, otherwise if anyone clicks on your pin, it's not going to go to your blog. Okay, now what I do is I go through, I'm going to show you a pin I'm going to make for an upcoming post about Santa Domingo. And I found the photo that I thought would work best. Fortunately, it's not a brilliant photo. Uh, when I was on this trip, I wasn't thinking about Pinterest back then. When I travel now, I try and make sure I take one that will be better suited to Pinterest. Um, I mean, this has got a lot of shade or whatever. It's not that great, but you know what? It does the job. I just, um, I'm very conscious of how much time I spend on things too. So I've opened it in a free tool called Picasa. You can download that for free. Basically what I do is I just crop it to make it a better size, you know, how I think it will work. Um, so I definitely want it so the vertical is longer than the horizontal, like that looks like an okay size. I'd probably try and make it a bit narrower. And then just what works in the photo. So I want to center it around here. It's probably a reasonable dimensions. I don't get too scientific about it. Um, obviously, sort of spend it long or as little as you want. That's what I would do. Uh, you can try some of these settings. This one's a bit dark, so I'm going to put a little bit of fill light. I like to add a bit of color too because I what I really wanted was a photo with a bit of the colorful buildings in Santa Domingo, but I didn't find a good one. So I might have it like that. Um, I'm always mindful of picking a photo too and having space where the text can go when I get to the next step. So this is a good one because there's heaps of space there I could write on that will look okay. I'll apply that. And I like this drop shadow to give it a bit of a border. Um, oops, I need to apply that. There, I mean, that's pretty much what I do to do the basis of the pin. I'm going to save it. Okay, so now I would go and I would open this in Picture Manager. Quite easy just to get the dimensions right in here. Now the best width is 736, so I'll basically change it so the width is 736. So I can see here it'll get that width. There we go, that's done. Okay, so now what I do is I use Canva. I absolutely love Canva. If you're not using Canva already, you should be. Um, I'll just double check what those dimensions were. So we've got 736 times 1326. Oops, we don't need to see that. Go to 736. I just type them in there. Then we can upload that pin that we made into here. So this is another free tool. Let's 
just really just such a handy tool for doing this type of thing. Oh, where did it go? There it is. You can sort of see here my last post about Bendigo. There's the pin I made and there's like the image I used for the, the pinnable image in my post. So again, different images. Okay, so we can just add that. Just make it so it goes, takes up the entire space. And then basically I just write on it. So you can just go in here, you can just add text directly or you can add like a background image, which can be good if you don't have something good to write on. I reckon with this nice space down here, I can just write in white text and it should work well. You know, so I just have something like things to do in Enter it, and I'm just going to play with it until it looks right. Um, I don't know. I don't find it really takes very much time. Um, you start to get fonts that you like. I'm just going to do something quickly. So say I just have something like that. And I might have Santa Domingo and have it bigger underneath. And just use a different font. You know, it's a good idea to mix up your fonts, mix up your colours. You just really want something that stands out a lot. I really love that font, but it's often just not stand out enough. Um, I mean, really, you can just pick whatever you want. So if I pick that one. And, I mean, I won't keep recording this because it'll get boring, but I would just spend a few minutes playing around until I have the text I want. Um, you know, you can change the size. You know, that's obviously not going to work, but, um, I mean, you know, it doesn't even look that bad. So in a few minutes, I could have a pin that would be just fine. Um, so, I mean, if you're new to Pinterest and you're just worried about getting it perfect, seriously, just make some pins. You know, it really doesn't take that much more effort and you're going to see much better results than just pinning photos from your posts.